I know I've talked your ear off about Raleigh, North Carolina, so hopefully by now you have a gist of what is going on there. But now it's time to go 30 minutes north of Raleigh and let's go ahead and check out Durham, North Carolina and what I believe are the top five areas or neighborhoods that you should keep in mind. However, this list won't be in any specific order. So when you see number one, when you see number five, it's just how I'm going through my list today. And just to give you a little bit of context, we will not be talking about the downtown area. No reason in Pacific. It's simply because most downtown areas are well developed. Everyone desires to be down there. So you guys can take that for what it is because I want to focus on the areas outside of it, which some of you guys may be interested in. And another thing, if you're looking for new development that's going on in Durham, North Carolina, you're going to want to check out the east side of it. That's where a lot of the development is going on. And I'm sharing this with you extremely quickly into the video because I'm not going to be talking about new development. A lot of the areas that I'm covering today is has nothing to do with new development areas. In fact, there are areas that have already been well established. So let's go ahead and find out about those other areas so you have the information because your job here today is to see which area can you even envision yourself in or maybe do you need to do more research to find the best area based off of your lifestyle also i'll be sharing my personal favorites so you're going to want to stick around and hear that now if you're new to me in this youtube channel we talk about everything you need to know about raleigh north carolina so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out but also i am a licensed realtor so if you guys need any assistance with your relocation or have questions about real estate just reach out the first area on the list today is Chancellor's Ridge. This is a master plan community that's going to have a pool, your clubhouse, and in fact, an event committee to help plan whatever it is that they want to plan for the, the subdivision, right? Now, there is something special about this community because one, there's not many people that like to leave. And in fact, when someone is getting ready to leave, there's always someone looking, hovering over that area. So it's a highly desirable area in all in all. Why you may think that, well, they don't have master plan communities like they do in Raleigh kind of thing. They don't have that setup where, again, like I mentioned, you have a clubhouse, you have your pool, that kind of thing. You're not going to find as commonly as often as you will in Raleigh. So for someone who's thinking, hey, I need to be in Durham, but I still want those amenities. This is one of the reasons why it may be a highly desirable area for many. Then when looking at the map and looking at where it is located, you can see it's pretty far away from everything. I mean, the thing that is closest to is Chapel Hill. It's not that far from Duke University, but it does have a distance. There's some other areas that we are going to cover that are going to be a little bit closer to Duke University, but Chancellor Ridge is not one of them, as you can see. But to that point, it is going to be extremely close to RTP Research Triangle Park. So if you're working out of there or even have to commute to that area for whatever reason, that's an area that's going to be really close in comparison to what else we're going to talk about here today. But you'll also be close to one of my favorite trails, American Tobacco Trail. Lastly, you're going to want to make sure that you check and star where South Point is because that's where a lot of the activity, the commercial development, the stores, and the amenities, your daily amenities are really going to take place. And so you're not going to be specific in that area, but you're going to be extremely close. So that's, a, that's something that you definitely should check off or kind of have on your radar if you're looking into that Durham, North Carolina is where is South Point and at least where is South Durham because that is where a lot of the commercial development as i mentioned the, the, your daily amenities are going to be so if you need to be close you don't like to drive more than 15 minutes to get to a store or whatever the case may be then one of the things you're going to want to look at is where is south durham in comparison to the area that you're looking at you heard me mention south durham a lot when speaking about chancellor ridge and that is because i want to emphasize the importance of south durham in general not because of what's really going on in the area because it's already well established but because what's there currently so if you're a person that needs to be around all your daily amenities then you're going to want to be as close as possible to south durham because that's where everything is i mean all your shopping all the food in fact rtp research triangle park is going to be nearby too so if you need a place where you can work play and eat all within then south durham is going to be one of those areas that you want to stay around so those individuals that are looking at North Durham, which we'll talk about a little bit later in this video, those areas are gonna have to travel uh, quite a few bit now, 
that's not long depending on what you consider it's about 15 20 minutes depending on specifically where you're coming from but that's just to give you a, a bit of an idea of why i keep referencing south of durham but with that being said one of the areas that does sit in south durham is hope valley farms this is an area that's still going to be quite a distance from duke university the downtown area but it's going to give you a little bit more of that suburban feel as it does have a golf course nearby as well and one thing I don't want to leave out that I think Durham does really well is you won't see so much of the cookie cutter homes that you'll see in new developments all over. It's in fact Durham is pretty much more older so you'll see more older homes well established character to the homes in itself. So if you're looking for a uniqueness within a home in itself I would definitely say Durham is going to want to be one of those places you're going to have to you're going to have to take a look at simply because that's most of what is provided there so far you've heard about two different neighborhoods chancellor ridge and hope valley farms now you're probably wondering what makes durham so special i'll preface it with saying this you're between chapel hill and durham and those are two places that have the top hospital facilities so if you need to be nearby there's your selling point there. I don't need to, I don't have to say much more. But also, if you're not looking for so much of a cookie cutter home, you want more uniqueness, you want something that's maybe even older, then that's another reason why you may want to take a look at it, or why many people even look at it in itself. And to add on, again, it's close to RTP. It's the closest area to RTP. In fact, RTP is more in Durham than it is in Raleigh. Research Triangle Park, that being RTP, sorry. <laughs> The only downfall I would say though is if you're in North Durham, then you're going to be kind of isolated and separated from a lot of that daily amenities that you have where Raleigh does it really well, where you have stores shopping everywhere despite where you are. Yes, you may have to travel a bit when in Raleigh, but in Durham, it's, it's kind of really isolated between the North and the South. So that's one of the biggest downfall that I've seen and I've heard of, but besides that, Everything else is pretty much tolerable, but one of the areas that is in that North Durham area that you may be thinking about is Northgate Park. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, it's not that special of an area, but it is one of those areas that is highly desirable. It has stood out. A lot of people do seek and inquire about it. So I do want to bring it on top of mind for yourself. There are parks in the area. There is a museum nearby. And Eno River is one of those places that you're going to be closest to when being in North Durham. And if you didn't know about those three areas I just mentioned, this is exactly why. You see that number that is popping up right there? Give me a call, shoot me a text, email, day or night, heck, maybe even on the weekends. Always remember one thing. I got your back in this market but when reaching out make sure to share a few things about yourself your lifestyle what you need to be around so that we can help you find that area for you however out of all the areas that i did mention this area here is the one that has stood out to me because there is bigger lots that gives you that suburban lifestyle that suburban feel and of course you can't forget it's well established so within the community you're gonna have a lot to do and that is duke park in this area you're gonna have a park you're gonna have like i mentioned well established so older homes you're gonna get that feel of it but personally to me it equals out because you're getting you're getting closer to the duke university which means you're gonna be really close to downtown as well so this is a great place if you have a personality where you need to be outdoors and you like the character feel of a home but don't forget you are north of durham so you are going to be quite a distance between those daily amenities that you may need the last area that has proven to be one of the top areas in Durham, North Carolina is Trinity Park. Now this is an area that does sit really closely to Duke Park and Northgate. So whether you want to be in Trinity Park or other areas, you'll still have that exposure to Trinity Park in itself. It is going to be a much more of a historic feel to it, a much more historic neighborhood. As I mentioned, all of Durham is really well established and older feel, so you're gonna get that out of a lot of areas here. Well, you'll also be close to, again, Duke University, but also Tobacco Road, which is a place downtown where you guys can go ahead and enjoy yourself. You can even take advantage of the Durham's Bulls Athletic Park. And I even throw this in there that this is one of those areas that's gonna cost you a little bit more. But each one of the three that I just mentioned that sit in that North Durham area, don't forget it is still close to Enoch River and you also have a museum in the area. So it's not like you're in, you know, 
a rural area with nothing to do there's going to things to still be things to do it's just majority of the things are going to be south of durham although trinity park is going to give you a little bit of run for your money overall durham has proven itself to be where you can really get a bang in your buck in comparison to raleigh north carolina when specifically talking about single family home so i'm curious based off of the areas i mentioned here today which one can you envision yourself living in Let's hear it in the comments below. Because just as much as I enjoy making these videos for you guys, my name is Ronnie Polonis and I am a licensed realtor in North Carolina. So you see that number that is popping up right there? Make sure to give me a call, shoot me a text, email, day or night, heck, maybe even on the weekends. Always remember, I got your back in this market.